Hello everyone, welcome to today's chemistry class. Our topic for today is soap and detergents. And I, Ibrahim Olaguke, is going to take you through this session. To begin with, what is soap and detergent? These are substances that dissolve in water and have the ability to remove dirt from surfaces such as human skins, textiles, and other solids. Basically, a soap is a sodium or potassium salt of a long chain fatty acid. Now, what is the nature and composition of soap? First, the soap are produced from animal or vegetable fat or oil. The palm kernel oil is used for soap production at a large percentage. And the fat and oil commonly used are glycerol, ester of palmitic, steric, and oleic acids. The common alkali used is the caustic soda, which is the NaOH and the caustic potash which is the KOH. Now looking at these definitions, soap can be defined as a sodium or potassium salt of palmitic, steric or oleic acid. Now let's go quickly to the types of soaps. We have basically the hard and the soft soap. Now, the basic difference is, for the hard soap, we use sodium hydroxide as the alkali, that is caustic soda. There is an equation, when you have oleic acid plus sodium hydroxide, it will give you the sodium soap and the water. Now, for the soft soap, potassium hydroxide is used in place of sodium hydroxide, so basically, using oleic acid again, you have a potassium soap and water. Now look at the preparation of soap. How is soap prepared? The process is called saponification. That is hydrolyzing fat or oil under alkaline condition. Here, the oil has been treated with sodium hydroxide which is caustic soda or potassium hydroxide which is caustic potash to produce glycerol. And the salt of fatty acid which are the soap now these are the steps the first step palm oil is being treated with sodium hydroxide in a beaker heated till boiling then after some time water and sodium chloride is added and boiled again to precipitate uh, the mixture next the solution has been filtered and lastly the solution has been distilled. Uh, the water has been added to the solution in order to further clarify the impurities and the residue gotten from the filtration serves as our soap. Now, let's see detergents now. Detergents basically are cleansing agents just like soap, but they are sodium or potassium salt of long chain alkyl hydrogen tetral sulfate and this is one of the characteristics that makes makes it lather with hard water because for soap they don't lather with hard water but detergent lather with hard water that it forms detergents are easily synthesized from alkenes of fatty acid let's see how when we want to get detergent from alkenes, that's we want to get a benzene based petroleum product treated with H2SO4 concentrated, we we'll get a sulfonate, and when we treat this with sodium hydroxide, we we'll get sodium alkyl benzene sulfonate, and that is the synthetic detergent. And the second method is from fatty acid and it's done in two steps. That's formation of an organic acid, which involves treating 
an alcohol, a long chain alcohol with concentrated sulfuric acid, and that is sulfonation to get alkyl sulfonic acid. And the next step is the neutralization, which is treating the alkyl sulfonic acid with sodium hydroxide that is a caustic soda, and basically there is the neutralization reaction to get sodium alkyl sulfate and water. Now, what are the basic differences between soap and detergents? Soap are metal salts of long chain high fatty acid, while detergents are sodium salts of long chain hydrocarbon like alkyl sulfate or alkyl benzene sulfonate. Now, soaps are prepared from vegetable oil and animal fats, while detergents are prepared from hydrocarbons of petroleum or coal. Now, soap cannot be used effectively in hard water as they produce calm as an insoluble precipitate. While detergents do not produce insoluble precipitate in hard water, they are effective in both hard and salt water. Now our homework for today is you have to mention the term used to describe the reaction between vegetable oil with a solution of wood ash thus when you react vegetable oil with wood ash you want to get the product. So what is that process called? Then you have to you have to explain why soapless detergent lather regularly with hard water. And thanks for listening.